Hey friends, it's Lisa Sugarman from the Suicide Survivor Series. I'm a Boston-based mental health advocate, a three-time survivor of suicide loss, a crisis counselor with the Trevor Project, and a storyteller with the National Alliance on Mental Illness. And I want to spend 90 seconds talking about why it really is okay to not be okay, and why we should all be embracing that mantra. Now, at this point, I know this idea has been in the mainstream a lot over the last few years, so it's not a new philosophy. But I think it's really important to keep talking about why it's okay to admit when we're not good, because the more we all do it, the more normal it becomes when we say it out loud. Because when we suppress our real emotions, we're denying this normal part of being human, which is to be fallible and to be scared and to make mistakes and to be sad. And that can lead to much bigger mental health challenges down the road. So here is a friendly reminder of why it's okay to not be okay. Number one, it acknowledges that every single one of us faces challenges and it reduces the stigma around mental illness and makes it easier for people to ask for help. Number two, it promotes self-compassion and allows us to be kinder and gentler to ourselves and to other people. Number three, it gives other people permission to do the same. And number four, it honors our emotional authenticity by acknowledging that life can be hard. So if you or someone you know is struggling, please call 988 and a trained crisis counselor will be there to help.